Uh, I guess I have to read the poem that Rick parodied, uh, just so you know that some of the wonderful lines are his, not mine. Uh, but it's uh, called The Punished Net, and uh, it came out of a conference at Brooklyn many, many years ago on uh, uncertain knowledge, and they invited, uh, uh, among other people, Martin Minsky, who was a master of uh, uh, computers and artificial intelligence. And uh, he said two things that struck me and it became the poem. He said, the universe is really only dirt. The mind processes it and gives it form, but it's only dirt up there. And he said also, if you were given enough time, 50 years, 100,000 years, 150,000 years, he could probably reward and punish a neural network and create a human brain. So that stayed in my mind, the punish net. And I'll just read that poem in the half-light with my fading eyesight. Uh, all bad things come in a continuum. The man who moved the moon to Wichita, this wall of thinking bricks. Disappointment in machines. Yes, there is a world of difference between what goes without saying, stepping stones across a stream, and the mailman's slow program for pain. Raising an arm on the arm farm, you notice a window onto the metaphysical stage shows law-like relations of water and smoke, putting flames of the flowers out. And as the red separation begins to work, names evaporate. The good news is we're on the verge of something so vast, nothing's not in it. In hideous parody of memory, clouds of jellyfish drift from the periphery toward the midnight marinas, coral reefs of the cumulative shore. The rest is too sad for words, like a brain in a jar. Turning to your nearest neighbor, you say, the shanty people erected cathedrals of light, and we have planted a peace of mind in the sky. Now the stars talk to us. Still, I'm tired of apologizing for the weather. When something breaks, I want it out of the house. Why are you crying in the rain? Whatever that is. <laughs>